friends this is another video about the best chapter of your thesis and the last part is the thesis outline uh, this thesis outline you can also call thesis organization some people write thesis organization some people write thesis outline uh, this is what basically mm, uh, you tell the people that uh, what my thesis uh, will look like and what is the the the, the segments I am following so uh, this is basically uh, that flow you will be following the uh, uh, your thesis so uh, let's read this uh, 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 slowly this thesis is organized as follow you see chapter one outlines uh, sometimes people say that uh, this is uh, uh, after the first chapter so people say don't write chapter one but it must be there chapter one outlines the research background this is why I am telling that you must need to highlight these are very important things the problem statement here the objectives scope and research focus these are the main pillars of your first chapter uh, you see that uh, for instance uh, a, a, a good reader uh, a good researcher will just see your first chapter and they will see that how the first chapter is look like so uh, from there uh, he, he can easily get the idea that uh, whether these this is uh, will or not now let's see comprehensive review of disensitized solar cell and senatoninous structure are discussed in chapter 2 this is what the second two, chapter 2 is look like I just give a small uh, intro to the chapter 2 look now detailed methods such as electro spinning and hydrothermal are explained in chapter 3 another very interesting uh, sentence uh, basically I showed people that the detail of methods such as electro spinning and hydrothermal are explained in chapter 3 and I also mentioned that the characterization techniques uh, such as X-ray, uh, BET, and fuel emission scanner microscope, TEM, ultraviolet analysis, current voltage, IPCE, and EIS electrochemical impedance spectroscopy analysis. All these I just uh, uh, giving the information that uh, in chapter 3, I will thoroughly discuss uh, all these stuff look now you must need to change uh, this thing like or discuss in chapter 2 or explain in chapter 3 I am just changing these words it's fine that I instead of or discussed you see what is look my chapter 1 chapter 1 outlines this is very nice start chapter 1 outlines this I am changing this thing and here I mentioned the, the other stuff before and I say or discussed in chapter 2 you see very nice and here I just changing uh, discuss to explain in chapter 3 but look in my chapter 4 in chapter 5 I just change this tremendously I say chapter 4 and chapter 5 highlight the hydrothermal synthesized multifunctional nanoparticles nanosphere and electrospun multi-force nanofiber and their characterization and photovoltaic parameters respectively I, I told the readers I'm telling the readers that chapter 4 and chapter 5 highlights my result in discussions it's very simple you see highlights hydrothermal synthesized multifunctional their characterization and photovoltaic parameters respectively now I just change this tone again chapter 6 you see chapter 6 a discussion on composite nanoparticle nanosphere multifunctional titanium nanoparticles and composite this characterization and the you remember chapter 4 and chapter 5 are part of the pristine pure nanostructures and chapter 6 is also for um, uh, discussion but this discussion is part the composite one so it means that my result discussion composed of uh, three chapters these are you see and I just write the sentence lastly chapter 7 concludes lastly chapter 7 concludes 
the thesis and provide recommendation for future perspective i conclude my work in chapter 7 in a very short and i will explain in another video what is abstract and what is conclusion i will make another video and what is the difference between conclusion and abstract but here i just tell the reader that in seven chapter i can conclude that the thesis and also i provide future recommendation that for instance i took my research to some place now if somebody wants to continue my research so i also put give some gap small gap so he can further take this research to a further higher level to further step this is an ongoing process it is not going to complete you complete one thing but there is gaps there are a lot of gaps so this is how your thesis organizations uh, uh, or thesis outlines look like so you will see after this you will see my chapter say second chapter you see second chapter literature review so this is how your uh, uh, past chapter looks like uh, let me go slowly and uh, you will see that I just start the first chapter from background small and after that I start there there is a problem statement a research objectives a research scope and statement of contribution and thesis outline I hope you understand how to write your thesis outline or thesis organizations uh, uh, this is not their table of contents that you see this is the outline <laughs> this organization that how you organize your all chapters so i organize my thesis in seven chapters uh, an introduction literature survey uh, materials methods and three result discussion and final conclusion most of the people just do five chapters uh, introduction literature survey uh, material method one chapter part result discussion and final conclusion thanks for watching